So how do I tell a great story? This is a very good question that you keep asking all the time. This is a very relevant question also because storytelling right now is everywhere. From business and consulting to data science and engineering. You simply cannot do in any profession without great storytelling skills. And you probably know all the theory already. If you don't, watch this video. If you do, you know that we start with a thesis, follow up with situation, complication, resolution, and that's it. That's a story, right? This is theory. Is practice more difficult? Well, no. Just watch this example from Thomas Hulbert and you'll figure this out. Enjoy. I've actually given funeral orations for people I didn't know. I had a, you know, I had a bookshop in Amsterdam, right? This old lady would come by and she would say, Goedemorgen, Buurman. Every morning she had this poodle. The poodle looked like a scab. It was horrible. It was, <laughs> so I'm in there, I'm doing this for a couple of years, you know, and then you know, three years in, you know, I get this letter in the mail. It says, you know, in Dutch, you know, please join us in memory of, you know. And it was clearly addressed to me had my name and my address on it, but it had no return address, and I had no idea who this guy was. And then this guy, the next day this guy comes into my shop. I've never seen this guy before. You know, I don't have anywhere to turn to. You have to help me, I have a crisis. And then he says, and my dad died. I can't read. What? I mean, you're not good at giving a presentation or something like that. No. Ik ben on alphabet. Ik kan het niet lezen. I, I, I cannot read. I don't know the alphabet. I don't know how to read. I can't read a book. Can't read a newspaper. What the f what? Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> it gets weirder, man. It gets really weird. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. So, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I have to tell my mother. It's this old lady with a dog. You know, you know, he thinks I'm all palsy wowsy with his mother. You know. I go to this thing, I practice a little pithy two minute speech in my wonky Dutch. So I say something like, you know, hey, the guy's dead, you know, uh, we're all gonna die, uh, we should all think about this. It's you know, thank you, that's how I'm thinking. And I just, I'm just blown away. I don't know what is going on. Something is going on. No idea. So they take this guy, and he's on the, he's in the coffin, a little, you know, <laughs> a la carte, you know. It's like the <laughs> wheels, you know. <laughs> they squeak him off, you know. They take him off somewhere, and they put him somewhere. And it turns out, every single person there, there's about 30 people there. Every single, every single person is there to make sure that bastard was dead. The most hated man on the planet. People came to make sure was really dead because they all wanted to piss on his grave. <laughs> and the reason they asked me, the reason the son asked me is because he had nothing good to say about this man. He had nothing good to say about it. It turns out he's illiterate, his mother's illiterate, his brother's illiterate. The whole family lived in this terror under this tyranny of this horrible man. Everybody hated it. Uh, 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 people owed him money or something like that. It was really horrible. And uh, for, the, for the next two, two or three years, I'm living in this neighborhood. It's like all these people are my neighbors. Like, yeah, like, Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you buried him. Good yeah, job. Yeah, you took care. You put, you know, you put the ribbon on it. You know, it's like, you know, it's. You put the nails in his coffin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Bone, Thank you. bone chill Thank you. weirdness, man. It's just the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> My God, this story is so hilarious. By the way, if you want to practice your own storytelling, share your stories in comments below and we'll give you feedback. And by the way, don't forget to press that subscribe button downstairs because you know what? More will come. So stay tuned and watch us. Cheers, guys.